So hi there, Ross. Um, my name is Jessica, Hello. and I'm a registered nurse from the University of Washington, and I am enrolled in an advanced practice nursing program here at UW. And what we're going to be doing today is a head-to-toe exam, and this is going to be something that I'll do a lot as an advanced practice nurse. Um, we're going to start at your hands and sort of move um, our way up to your head and all the way down to your toes. Do you have any questions before we get started? Okay, and I'd just like you to know that during this exam, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be paying attention to Ross's general health. I'm going to be noting his cognitive and mental status. I'm going to be looking for any signs of emotional or physical distress, and I'm also going to be looking at his skin throughout the exam. Okay, Ross, so you can go ahead um, and climb up onto the table. And actually, we need this blanket that's underneath you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. All right, so to start, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at your hands. So if you can just turn them over like this for me. Good. Great. And then what I want you to do is I want you to squeeze my fingers kind of as hard as you can. Good. Okay, now you can relax your hands, and I'm just going to feel your pulse now. Good, and they feel nice and strong and equal. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel your arm. So I'm going to start here at your hands. Feeling your wrist, feeling your forearm, feeling your elbow, your upper arm. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to feel your shoulder. Any pain or tenderness as I do this? No. Okay, good. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So your wrists, elbows. Any tenderness on this side? No. Okay, good. Now we're just going to do some movements. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hold your arm here. And you can just follow me. So we're going to bring our arm up like this. You can go ahead and follow me as I do it. Great. And then all the way out. And I'll turn your hand down and turn your hand up. Okay, good. And then I'm also going to check your strength. So I'm going to put my hand here. And I want you to just push up against my hand right now. Good. And push down. Good. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So first, I'm just going to feel, and so bring your hand up, and all the way straight, good, and turn your hand down, and turn your hand up, okay. And I'm going to check for strength again, so I want you to push up, and then push down, good. Okay, and now bring your hands to your side, sorry, and what I want you to do is push up against my hands here. Push up, push up, good, okay, great. And now we're just gonna do a few movements to test um, your shoulder. So what I want you to do is again, follow my motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our hands out. I'm gonna turn our hands up and bring them all the way overhead. Great, and behind your head. And now what we're gonna do is I want you to take your thumbs and I want you to try to bring them as far up your back as you can, okay? And I'm just gonna look. That's great. Okay, good. And last two things, bring your hands in front of you and I want you to bring them out. And if you can, just bring them back as far as you can. Good, okay, excellent. Any pain or tenderness as you were doing that? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to your head. Um, so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just looking. I'm gonna feel now. So let me know if you have any pain or tenderness. Any pain or tenderness? Mm. Okay, and I'm going to look at your scalp. So I'm looking here behind your ears at the back. On the other side, all looks good. Now I'm going to move on to your eyes. So first I'm just, I'm looking at your eyes. I'm looking at your eyelids and your eyebrows. And I'm looking for facial symmetry here as well. I'm, I can see that you wear glasses. So actually, right now, I think maybe if you could just take off your glasses and I'll put them on the table. Great. And I'm just going to take this pen light here. Um, and so what I'm gonna do first is just take a look in your eyes. So I'm gonna, if you can look up at the ceiling. Good, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, good. And now what I'm gonna do, for these next couple of tests, if you can kind of just look straight ahead, I'm first gonna check your pupil's response to light, and this is checking cranial nerves two and three, which are optic and ocular motor. And so just look straight ahead, and I'm gonna look at the response in this eye, and then in the other eye. Good, and do the same thing on this side. 
Great. Okay. So next we're going to check the movements of your eyes. And this is going to be checking cranial nerves three, four, and six, which are ocular motor, trochlear, and abducens. So what I want you to do is just to follow this light and to look straight ahead and try to keep your head as still as possible. And what I'm doing here is I'm looking for any wiggling or sort of movements of your eye, especially out in these outer corners. Good. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do for your eyes is I'm actually going to look in your eyes. Okay. So I am going to place my hand here on your head and I'm going to take my glasses off as well. Okay, so as I come in here, first I can see the red reflex, and then I'm going to follow that in, and I'm looking at the vessels, and I'm looking at the character of their crossings, and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. So again, I'm going to place my hand here on your head, and again, I can see the red reflex. And I'm following that in to take a good look at the vessels at the back of your eye. Okay, good. Now we're going to move on to your ears. Have you noticed any change in hearing? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to plug one ear and I'm going to say some numbers and letters and I want you to just tell me what, you, what they are, okay? So you can plug this ear. Eight. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. 7x14. 7x14. Okay, good. All right, so now I'm just going to feel your ears this time, and I want you to tell me if there's any tenderness. How about right here? Okay, good. So the last thing we're going to do for your ears is we're actually going to take a look inside them. And when we were checking your hearing, we were checking cranial nerve number eight, which is the acoustic nerve. So I'm going to pull back on your ear, and I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible. Okay, so what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the tympanic membrane, and I'm looking at the cone of light and the bony landmarks. And then as I was pulling back out of your ear, I was looking at the canal as well looking for any redness or swelling. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to pull back. Good. So again, I can see the tympanic membrane very clearly and the cone of light and bony landmarks. Any issues? Nope. Everything looks very clear. Okay. Now we're going to move on to your nose. So have you noticed any changes in your sense of smell? No. Have, when you walk into a coffee shop, are you able to smell coffee? Yes. Okay, good. So that is cranial nerve number one, which is olfactory. And so I'm just going to take a really quick look inside your nose is all. So if you can just look up at the sky, and I'm just going to set this here, and I'm looking at the bottom of your nose. I'm looking for any drainage. I don't see any. I'm looking for redness, swelling, and that all looks really good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to your mouth. And first, I just want to ask you if you've had any changes in taste lately. Yes. And are you able to taste things that are sweet, salty, bitter, yucky? Yes. Okay, good. So that's cranial nerves seven and nine, which is facial and uh, glossopharyngeal. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look around your mouth. So what I want you to do is just open your mouth and if you can stick your tongue out a little bit, good. So I'm looking first at the roof of your mouth. I'm going to look at your cheeks. And if you can now um, go like this so I can see underneath your tongue, good. And then show your teeth, good, great. Okay, 
Next, what I want you to do is a couple of tests, which are a little bit funny. But what I'm going to have you do first is just stick your tongue out for me straight. Good. So that's cranial nerve number 12, which is hypoglossal. And then what I'm going to have you do now is, again, just stick out your tongue, but this time say, ah, and I'm going to take a look. Okay. Uh, great. Okay, so that is cranial nerves number 9 and 10, which are glossopharyngeal and vagus. And I'm just looking at the back of your throat and watching how um, what we call your soft palate rises. The last thing for your mouth is, this might feel a little bit funny, but we're actually just going to feel. Um, and I'm going to use two fingers and just feel around the inside of your mouth. So you can say ah. Uh. Uh. Just kind of feel around your lips and your cheeks. And the last thing that I have to do is I'm actually going to feel your tongue. So if you can stick your tongue out, I'm going to feel specifically on the sides of your tongue. Okay, good. Sorry about that. Okay. So now what I want you to do is I'm just going to place my hands next to your ears and I want you to clench your jaws. Good. So that's checking cranial nerve number five, which is trigeminal. And now I want you to open and close your jaw. Okay, good. I'm not feeling any clicking or anything when you do that. And next, what I want you to do is we're going to do some kind of funny faces. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is smile from your leg. Good. And frown. And puff up your cheeks. And show me your teeth. Good. And now can you raise your eyebrows and close your eyes really tight and don't let me open them. Good. Okay, so that's checking cranial nerve number seven, which is facial. And now we're going to check cranial nerve number 11, which is spinal accessory. So what I want you to do is go ahead and look at that wall. And now I want you to turn back against my hand. Okay, good. And we're going to do the same thing this way. Turn against my hand. Okay, good. And now I want you to shrug your shoulders against my hands. Great. Okay. Good. Now we're going to move on to your neck. So first we're just going to do some movements. So what I want you to do is look up at the sky and down at the floor and to the side and to the other side. Good. And now if you can touch one ear to your shoulder and to your other shoulder. Great. Okay. Good. Now we're going <clears> to <throat> check your lymph nodes. And so I'm going to be saying the names as I go through. So first we have preauricular, postauricular, occipital, tonsillar, submandibular, submental. We have a superficial cervical, deep cervical, posterior cervical. And then here, if I'm just going to move your gown a little bit, we have the supraclavicular and then also infraclavicular. Okay, great. Okay, so now I'm just looking at your neck and I'm going to give you a glass of water here. And I want you to just take a sip and have a little swallow. And I'm looking at how your trachea moves and I'm seeing that it's right in the middle. And now I'm actually going to feel for your thyroid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around back and I'm going to place my hands on either side of your neck and I want you to take a little sip of water and hold it in your mouth. Okay, now I'm going to put some pressure and I want you to take a swallow. Okay, we're going to do that one more time and I'm going to push the other direction this time. Okay, good. That's great. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you bring your gown down and I'm going to move on to your chest. So what I'm doing first is I am just looking, um, I'm comparing the side to side to the back. And now what I would like you to do is take a nice big deep breath for me. Good. And I'm just looking at how your chest moves. Great. And next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and feel your back. I'm feeling along your spine. Any tenderness as I do this? No. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna feel along the side for the muscles. And again, let me know if there's any tenderness. And if you want, you can pull this up. I'm going to listen to the back, keep you warm. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to be listening to your lungs. And so I'm going to have you breathe in and out for a decent amount of time. So if at any time you start to feel dizzy or if you think I'm going to too fast, just let me know and you can raise your hand. But I, what I want you to do is just to take nice deep breaths in and out of your mouth or out of your mouth. Sorry. Um, and I'm gonna listen, every time I move my stethoscope, I'm gonna listen to one full breath, okay? All right, so nice, big, deep breaths. doing all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna move to the front, we'll pull your gown down, and first I'm just gonna listen to, we actually have a right middle lobe of our lung that mm -hmm. we listen to sort of over on the side here. So I'm gonna place my stethoscope right here and take a nice big deep breath. Okay, good. And I'm gonna come to the front and we're just gonna continue doing the same thing, okay? Okay, great. So next I'm going to listen to your heart. So you can just relax and breathe normally. And I'm just going to listen in four places here. So first I'm going to listen to aortic. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. And mitral. Okay, that all sounds really good. Your heart sounds very strong and healthy. So next, um, we're going to check one more lymph node here. So we can pull this back up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take your arm here and I want you to just kind of relax and let me have your arm. Good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my hand in your armpit here mm -hmm. and feel. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, 
So now you get to lay down. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for your feet. Okay, and we're actually mm. gonna do a quick breast exam. It's important that we actually do breast exams on men too. And so we can start on this side. So what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna bring our arm actually up above our head and you're tall, so it's a little harder. But <laughs> I'm just gonna start here, up in your armpit and just feel. arm down. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're just going to bring this arm up. So you can go ahead and relax your arm. Everything good? Yep, everything feels good. I'm gonna look from the side now here, and I am looking for any pulsations, and I don't see anything, so that's good. I'm also gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feel for your carotid pulse here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And they feel nice and strong and even. Great, so you can, we're gonna pull your gown back on now. And we're gonna move on to looking at your stomach. So I'm actually going to just bring your gown up here. Okay, great. So first I'm just looking at your stomach and I'm gonna look from the side as well. Great. And next I'm going to listen. Your stomach's nice, nice and active. Good. And now I'm actually going to percuss. So I'm just going to tap on your stomach. feel. Um, and so what I want you to do is actually to bend your knees. Just bring them up because that helps to relax your stomach muscles if we can bend both of them. Great. Okay. So first I'm just going to do a light pushing. And I'm going to go again and it'll be a little deeper this time. Okay. do is I'm actually going to feel for your liver. So I'm going to put my hand underneath your back here and I'm going to place my hand here and I want you to take a nice deep breath for me, okay? Good. 
Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this time we're feeling for your spleen. Okay, so nice big deep breath for me. Good. So I didn't feel anything, which is good. That's normal. We wouldn't, we would hope not to feel anything. Okay, so you can go ahead and relax your legs for me. And we'll go ahead and pull your gown back down. And we're gonna move on to your legs. So I'm gonna bring the blanket up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have to feel for your um, femoral pulses, and I'm also going to feel for your inguinal node. So I'm just going to stick my hands under your shorts, and I hope it's not uncomfortable. And so I'm feeling for the femoral pulse, and I'm going to feel for the inguinal nodes. Okay, good. All right, so now moving on to your legs. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to feel your hips, okay? Mm -hmm. And tell me if you have any tenderness, pain. And then I'm going to feel your legs. So I'm feeling the muscles, feeling your knees and the joint. Okay. Feeling your lower legs, your ankle joint, your feet. Any tenderness? Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, and if it's okay, I'm going to remove your socks here. Sure. And I'm just going to feel for the pulse on the bottom of your feet. Good. They feel nice and strong and very even. So next we're going to do some movements of our legs. So the first thing that I want you to do is that I want you to take both one leg at a time. We're going to bring your knee to your chest as far as you can. Good. So this is looking at bending of your hip and your knee. Okay, and you can bring it back down. And same thing on the other side. Great. And bring it back down. Okay, and now I'm going to do some what we call passive movements. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over here on this hip, and I'm just going to hold your foot, and I want you to just let me move your leg. So we're going to move it all the way out, and all the way over and across. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and and I'm just going to turn your hip out, and turn your hip in. Good. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm going to put my hand on your hip here, and I'm going to bring your leg out, Oops, and all the way in. Now I'm going to take, and I'm just going to bring your leg up and out. And in. Any pain or tenderness as I was doing that? Okay. So now we're going to do just a couple movements of your feet, and then you get to sit back up. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your toes and point them up to your nose. Good. And point them all the way down. Great. And now this movement's a little bit funny, but what I want you to do is I want you to try and touch the soles of your feet together. So kind of try to, yes, exactly. Great. Thank you. And now if you can point them as far away from each other as they can. Okay. Good. And if you could even go out this way. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. So now we're going to sit back up. So I'm going to bring this in if you need a hand. Okay, good. And we can actually tie this right now. Okay, now we just have a couple more things. And before you get to stand up, we're going to check your reflexes. So for checking reflexes, it's best if you can really just relax. And I'm going to mm -hmm. hold your arm, and I want you to just let me have your arm, okay? So I'm going to hold your arm up like this, and just relax, 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 relax. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll try one more. Okay. 
let's try this one. So what I want you to do is just give me your arm and just relax. Just relax your arm. Sorry. It's okay. Side. Okay, so just relax your arm and give it to me. Thank you. Okay, let's try this Hit it one. Harder. Hit it harder. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. So go ahead and turn your hand up. And you can relax, and we'll come down to your knees. And maybe just scoot forward just a touch so your legs are hanging a little bit more. And just relax your legs. Good. There we go. Great. Okay, and then I'm gonna take your foot, and I want you to just relax, 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 relax. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, good. Okay, so now we get to stand up and we are almost done. So I will take this from you. Be careful getting off the table. Okay. So, first thing I want to do is I want you to face towards me. And what I want you to do is I want you to, you can hold here for support if you need it, and just bring your leg back as far as you can. Good. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Great. And then take a little bend of your knee. So just on one, just bend. And on the other side. Great. Okay. Now we're going to check your spine. So what I want you to do is turn around. And what I'm gonna have you do is just bend forward slowly to touch your toes. And I'm looking at how your spine is curved. Good, and I'm gonna look from the side as well. Just looking at the curvature and now come slowly back up. Okay, good. And now what I want you to do is I'm gonna stand here, but I want you to actually bend back if you can. Good. Great. Okay, and now I'm gonna keep my hands here because I want you to keep your hips as still as you can and I want you to turn to face me with your, your back. Like turn your spine, yep, exactly, thank you. And the other way, excellent. And now what I want you to do is take this hand and slide it down your knee as far as you can and bend to the side, yes. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Good. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do is some walking. So what I want you to do is just walk away from me. And now you can walk back towards me. Great. And I want you to walk back over there on your tippy toes. And if you can come back towards me now walking on your heels. And the very, very last thing that we're gonna do is I want you to go heel to toe. <laughs> yes. So heel to toe, heel to toe. Great, okay, that is everything. Your exam looked really good. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, then I will let you get changed. Thank you.